The moonshine roll is a very profitable roll. It can earn you a lot of money if you do it right. In my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best, passive business in Red Dot Online. It is really easy and good for money. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be going through everything you need to run the moonshine roll profitable. But before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys about my personal channel where I post similar videos to this just on GT Online instead of Red Dot Online. I post guides, tutorials, tips and tricks. So if you play GT Online and you also play Red Dot Online and you want guides on both, subscribe to my personal channel, Jones McFlurry, and also subscribe to this channel, Open Vision. If you do that, you are a living legend. Anyway, getting back into the video. As per usual, when you are getting into a new business, you actually need to buy the business. So to buy the Moon China roll or to buy a Moon China shack, there is some rules or some restrictions if you can buy it or not. Basically, this is the only role in the game where you need to own another role to access it. Really, you have to own the trader role and got to level 5 and done a trader sale to unlock the Moonshiner. But there are ways around this. You can actually do a trader activity like a trader sale with a friend or someone in your session even though you do not own the trader. You can just send messages to people in your session and ask them if you can join in on a trader sale. Most likely they will say yes because they want your help. You do the sale. After this you should get a letter from Crypt which is the guy who runs your trader business when you eventually get it and this guy will tell you that he has a friend called Maggie Fike who wants to start up a moonshiner jack or moonshiner business for me this method did not work on pc i don't know why uh, this method of doing it to a trader sale with someone should work but it didn't for me i did i did it multiple times try to do the sale and it did not work so worst case scenario you may have to pay the five gold bars to unlock the roll and then a 25 gold bars on top of that again to actually like buy the roll that's not ideal that's what i had to do and maybe you too but i don't know it should work to do just a trade yourself with someone but if not that is another method when you've got this letter from Crips, he tells you that to meet up with him and Maggie Fike up in Emerald Ranch, where you will meet them. When you enter this, you will meet Maggie Fike and Crips, and she will tell you a bit about the business and if you're interested. Eventually, she will bring up a map to show you the locations you can buy the Moonshine Shack for. The Moonshiner roll or the Moonshiner Shack costs 25 gold bars, so keep this in mind before you actually do this. It's no point in doing this if you do not already have 25 gold bars because you can't buy it. But yeah, when you get into this, you should pick your location. And these locations are a bit important to go through. And I do have a list here of what I think is the best to the worst location to be at. So there's five different locations you can choose. These are Tall Trees, uh, Bayou Nova, Heartlands, Penningstead, and the Grizzlies. And on the bottom of the list, at number five, we got the Grizzlies. If you do not know where this area is, it's up in the mountains with the snow. And this, this location has okay sail routes. They're not too bad, but the location itself is really bad. It's long up in the mountains, away from everything else. Do not pick this location and remember you can actually you can change your location if you've already bought it you can change your location but this will cost 250 dollars so try to not do this try to pick your location and use it anyway on number four we got hennigan's stead this is basically the same as grizzlies just this is out in the desert it has okay sail routes but again it's got a bad location it's out in the desert there's a big like hill that's basically blocking it so there's only like one route to get in and out from it it's not a really good location at number three we got our first actually like 
okay location right? or, or a location you can choose that's good and this is the heartlands this is a good location since it is close to emerald ranch and it's in the heartlands maybe the most beautiful and nice place to be in it's a good place for hunting if you need that and it's close to a fast travel post in emerald ranch but the thing that lets this location down is its sail routes these sail routes are pretty bad for that reason i do not recommend doing this location anyway on to the number two which is the bayou nawa this one is i got no problem with this one really it's close to saint denis it's easy sail routes and it's all around a good location you can actually also hunt some alligators there which is really good for food yeah this is not a, a bad location in any way i just think the number one location is better but yeah if you want to pick this one pick this one but anyway the number one location in my opinion and in a lot of people's opinion is tall trees there's a lot of good traits with this location for example it's close to black water where you can fast travel and do bounty hunt missions it has easy sail routes they are not that hard it's a good place for hunting probably the best place for hunting in the entire game and the best thing about it it's got the manzanita fast travel post really really close it's basically just a street down the road and this is really good if you need to go different places so if i would recommend one location to choose i would choose tall trees but do this how you like pick tall trees or bayonova it's basically the same when you've picked your location and bought your moonshine shack you now have to do two setup missions and the story missions before you can do the story missions you of course need to do these two setup missions and these are the rescue cook mission where you rescue your cook of your moonshine business a guy who will create and cook your moonshine and then the equipment mission where you get the equipment you need to start making money and moonshine these two you can do in any order you'd like just get them done and the story missions there are five story missions in total added to the moonshiner role and i suggest you do this before you get too deep into the actual business you can start the business and go through it but i think this it's smart to do the five story missions done before you actually focus mostly on the business when you've done the set of missions and the story missions we can now talk a bit about some upgrades upgrades in this business is pretty important because they yeah upgrade your production quite a lot but the only important upgrades you can buy from maggie is basically the business upgrades these two are the condenser upgrade and the polished copper upgrade the condenser upgrade you unlock at level 5 in the mushana roll and the polished copper upgrade you unlock at level 10. the condenser upgrade allows you to produce average moonshine instead of weak moonshine we will get into this a bit later and the polished copper upgrade allows you to produce strong moonshine so do remember to buy these these are very important for your success and for you to make a lot more money when you hit level 5 in the moonshine roll and when you hit level 10 in the moonshine roll make sure to get both of these upgrades all right so let's get on to the actual moonshine production side of things this segment is going to be pretty long so bear with me here okay so the first bar at the top right corner that one is mash aka the ingredients to your moonshine so this is what your moonshine basically is for every time you buy some mash that will produce 20 bottles of moonshine which is the max you can sell and max you can store you will often see that mash is randomly priced sometimes it can be 30 dollars while other times it can be 60 dollars we will talk a bit later or in a second about how you can reduce this cost because in the beginning if the mash costs 60 dollars you will not get that much profit since you do not have the condenser upgrade and you do not have the polished copper upgrade which we talked about earlier so if your mash costs $60 do not buy it i recommend you do some bootlegger missions which i will talk about now which is some missions that will decrease your mash price these you get by going upstairs and talking to maggie 
and in these you will have to either fight some revenue ag agents at the roadblock these could be sometimes close to you but also, also sometimes really far away and it could be multiple of them this mission this type of mission is really bad really but some of the other missions is that they want you to do uh, a mission sneaky but there is basically no point of this since you can still complete the mission even if you get detected so it's no point and yeah there's quite a lot of other missions but these are the ones i get most often and the ones that spawn most often you can also get a mission where you need to fight some revenue engines or some rival moonshiners i think in a bar this mission is pretty fun and it's my favorite mission but yeah do these bootlegger missions to decrease the mash price that's your main that's your main target but also these missions are quite important to do in, in the beginning to both make money and to level up fast even if you do not care about the money if you have like plenty of money and you do, do not care about how much it costs you should still do this bootlegger uh, mission because you get 300 plus xp for each bootlegger missions which goes a long way to ranking up the moonshine world okay so let's talk a bit about the weak average and strong moonshine these are the different types of moonshine you can produce weak moonshine produces 20 bottles of moonshine in 30 minutes this gets upgraded to 24 minutes when you reach level 15 average moonshine produces 20 bottles in 45 minutes so a little longer but this moonshine is better and this gets upgraded to 36 minutes at level 15 again and lastly strong uh, moonshine produces 20 bottles in 60 minutes or an hour and this gets upgraded to 48 minutes at uh, level 15 also so even though the strong moonshine takes longer to produce than the weak moonshine you get more money for the strong moonshine so you should always choose the mash you latest unlocked so if you just unlock the average moonshine at level 5 i believe then use that but when you get to the strong moonshine and you unlock strong moonshine you should always want to do the strong moonshine since this is uh, how you get the most money out of it okay so now we got our mash producing now we need to go over to the flavoring for we, because we do need a flavor in our moonshine so when choosing a flavor you should firstly always look down in the bottom left corner and look at the timer there you see it says buyers reset in x amount of time these are the buyers requests for which flavoring they want so they may pay more if you produce that flavor for them inside of that time frame so always look at that timer and then think to yourself do i have time to produce 20 bottles and then sell before the buyers reset if you're doing strong moonshine and you have the time decrease upgrade that makes it only 48 minutes to produce and you see that there's only 35 minutes left before the re buyers reset then you know you cannot flavor that moonshine to that buyer's request since when the moonshine is done producing which is in 48 minutes the buyer's request is not there anymore it has reset however what you can do is just produce normal moonshine without any flavor you wait with the flavor and then when the buyers reset you can just add flavor to your 20 bottles of moonshine and then sell them to that blah, 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 and then sell it to that buyer there's always one buyer who will buy whatever flavor you have but he will give you a lot less money for the same moonshine as if you made it a buyer's request i hope you guys understood that if you if, if it was a bit confusing please leave a comment and i will try to explain it better to you anyway when choosing your flavor you have three different stars to choose from there are one star two star and three star flavors the one you want to do is the two star flavor this gives you less money than the three star flavor however with the three star flavor you have to put in a collectible from the collector roll which i think is a bit wasted because you can get more money if you just gave that collectible to Madame Nassar. So I suggest you go for the two star flavor one. Because that's the best one for both money and saving your collectibles. Alright so when you're done with producing your moonshine. You have added the flavor. Everything is ready to sell. 
then you just choose the buyer you have made the moonshine for and you've added the flavor for remember make sure that the bars haven't reset because when you then go for, to sell the moonshine you will not find the buyer you made the flavor from so remember to always look at that timer anyway when you start the mission it's really straightforward you just get in the wagon and then you drive to the checkpoint but there are some things or encounters you could find when you do these cell missions and these are the revenue agents encounters there are three different encounters you can get with these revenue agents because they do set up uh, roadblocks which you have to drive through but there's three different encounters when you meet them first encounter is that they will just let you go right through the roadblock without even checking the wagon you will come up go like slow a bit down it will be a red circle and then they will just say drive on and the red circle will not be there anymore and you just drive past them no more trouble second encounter is that they will want you to stop you need to stop they check your wagon and then they let you through without any more trouble because they haven't seen anything that's illegal so if they tell you to stop do stop do not just go through because they will chase you and you do not want them chasing you so when you come up to these do stop if they want you to stop if they don't want you to stop just go through and yeah the last encounter which is the most rare one is that they will check your wagon they will stop you and then they will say you have moonshine in the back and then they will attack you if this happens just get off the wagon fight them off and then go fast as lightning to your cell location they will start following you and if they shoot the back of the wagon they will destroy moonshine bottles but try your best you at least try to not get them after you by stopping and not just shooting them instantly another thing you do not want to do in these missions is to go off road or try to do shortcuts many players would like to do like shortcuts and go off road but in this role you cannot do that if you go on anything that is not a dedicated path or road then you will slowly start breaking moonshine bottles and even if you just break one bottle out of the 20 bottles that will leave a huge dent in your profit for example if you sold for 240 dollars for your 20 moonshine bottles and if you just break one of the bottles when you are driving to the location then you may end up with only like 160 dollars or even less it's a massive loss so be really careful when you do these cell missions and stay on the road and also when you're going over like train tracks and stuff like that slow down so you do not bump like crazy slow down and take it easy my last tip for selling is that you can go into cinematic mode or just aim your gun to make the wagon move itself when you do this a ai will take over the wagon for you you're still the one that driving the wagon but the game will drive for you and this you can use if you're unsure if you can drive straight on a narrow road and you're afraid of losing any moonshine then just go into cinematic mode or just aim your gun and then the game will take over and drive for you this is really nice if you're at the, like a narrow road with lots of rocks if you're unsure that you think you're gonna crash just aim your gun and it will drive for you and then you can take over after that right then that was the 2022 beginner guide to the very profitable moonshiner role many people don't think that this role is any profitable but it is actually one of the best in the game anyway i hope you enjoyed this awesome guide and if so go downstairs and throw that like button into the wall so it turns blue and of course do not forget to subscribe in my next video i will probably be going through the trader role so look out for that if it's already out it's the video on the right and if not i reckon the video on the left will do just fine